Four minutes. Yay. There. Hi, hi, Jack. Hello everyone. I'm a little bit early because this is my first time and I wanted to make sure that I connected and I hope I am. Jack Cole is watching so I, I am connected. So hello. This is our Wednesday Faith Lift and it is my honor and my delight to share this time with us together. During this time of self-isolation, of being at home, of particularly not being able to touch, not being able to be close, I believe that you join me in gratitude for these methods of our getting together, that there is a way and these methods help us to reinforce what is the truth about us all the time and that is we are connected. We are one and so today, what I would like to take some time to just talk about a little bit is Unity Principles 1 and 2, because they really help me during this time of looking like we're separate, um, reminding me that we truly aren't. Principle one, there's only one presence and one power in the universe. There's only one presence. Principle two follows that and is actually predicated on the first. It could be said, if God is everywhere present, then everyone is divine. Everyone is inherently good. Everyone is God presence. Sometimes that's challenging to be able to see that. Um, and, and many of us have spent many years in belief systems where we did not behold everyone as God, and we felt that um, there was some penance or um, blame to be um, put on those who were not following um, what we thought were the ways of expressing our spiritual beliefs. and. Now we know that it's so much bigger than that. It's so much bigger. There is, if there's only God, then anytime I am not aware of myself as being divine or anything, anyone, any place being less than divine, the responsibility is mine to look at it differently, to be able to peel away the veils of old beliefs, the constrictions of old beliefs. Hi, Elizabeth. 
nice to nice to spend time together. I've been talking about principle one and principle two, and I I would like to have this time together to really be about feeling into the God presence in ourselves. Let's start there. Let's start with accepting, accepting the divine presence in us. What does that mean? What does that feel like? Let's just take a minute and just close our eyes and feel. Can I, can I feel the divine in me? Can I let myself feel that? Can I feel into what may be in the way of my feeling that? And so just as we take a breath, let us think about this spaciousness that Pat mentioned on Sunday that is the allness, the one, the only, and how that spaciousness is who we are. That spaciousness is not something we need to ask for. It is not something we need to cultivate. It is something we need to focus on and express. It is always here. It is always now. It is always here. It is always now. When I first started really actively accepting my own divine nature, my own divine expression within the context of the allness, old stuff came up for me, stuff about worthiness and judgment and um, self-judgment of, of things I've done in the past, times when I have proven to myself and to others that I am not did the, the divine. Um, and I've learned to be able to reframe that to I, in those situations, and, you know, they all happen for all of us. They still happen. In those situations, I was not seeing who I really was, first of all. And so, therefore, I couldn't share who I really was. And... I could not see whoever I was engaged in and with as sacred, holy, perhaps as disguised as I was in this exchange. So I invite us to Give ourselves the opportunity to get comfortable with being the truth of us. Get comfortable with expressing, feeling into and expressing the highest, the best. The Even those terms are kind of... Um, comparative, the most loving, the most loving that we can be in any given moment is expressing our divinity.
it is challenging to look at what's going on in our world right now and behold it all as sacred. And I think that's what is part of this faith lift experience. Just because we can't see it doesn't mean it isn't there. Just because we don't get it doesn't mean that it is not happening right now. The movement of God in all things, in all things. This, this takes some wrangling with from an inner perspective to let go of the idea that um, there's bad. When we can behold something as painful and as sad, and tragic, and at the same time, trust that within that experience is the movement of God, is, is harmony, harmony. And so for today, I don't have a clock in front of me, so I don't know what time it is, but for today, I would like to just go back again to closing our eyes and allowing ourselves to feel where our divine makes itself known to our human identity, where in our minds or our hearts as we breathe and we breathe and we open to all that space between the little particles of our human self. That is our divine self. That is our divine self ready when we turn our human attention towards it, when we become more aware of it. That is our divine self, ready to move through our human embodiment out into the world, blessing our bodies, blessing our experiences. And so let's breathe, let's Allow, allow I am to really percolate in every cell, to vibrate through every nerve. to pulse through our blood, can we let, can we let God be God as us? Can the human us, that construct that we built when we came into this world, can the human us relax and let the true us, the only real us. Just for a moment, just be. Feel into, I am. I am. I am.
and gently, I invite us all to become aware again and, or even, I'm always looking for better words to express things, to shift our focus from our inner experience to include our outer experience and to begin to let the existing only in our mind's border between what is outside of us and what is inside of us and begin to embrace the allness everywhere and begin to give ourselves permission to know we are exactly who we were created to be. We are. Regardless of how we've been expressing that throughout our lives, that does not change at all. That presence, that inherent good. And it is up to each one of us to be able to claim it for ourselves, accept it for ourselves, and share it. Believe in it. Believe in it in ourselves. Believe in it in each other. Believe in it in all we behold. And so I invite you to Take time during the everyday experiences that you're having. Nature's a wonderful inspiration and it's not hard to be able to behold the presence in beautiful trees, lush grass, the wind caressing us, warm sand beneath our feet. That is all sacred, just as sacred is the knife that I hold and the vegetable that I'm chopping. Just as sacred is the current of energy that keeps my home lit. Just as sacred devices that are bridging, I like to think bridging us between being together and communicating through telepathy through our through our mind knowing with each other um, that's 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 just me I'm not asking that everyone uh, embraces that idea but I think it's important to as we're in this time of uh, this gift of really spiritual um, spiritual inventory taking in this time that we push the envelope for ourselves for many of us um, again it may be hard to accept day day to day hour to hour moment to moment that I'm being God as I'm doing this. God is being me as I'm doing this. When we can remember that, how we see, how we act is different. And as each of us embraces our own experience of our divine and our willingness to see the divine in all things, we bring ourselves closer to a spiritually transformed world. It's up to us, each one of us, to see, to see that transformed world. Thank you. Thank you for being here today. And I look forward to our next sharing. And I look forward to feeling you as we feel into our oneness together. God bless you. Bye.